barotrauma is disturbances of pressure equalization in airfield cavities. The parts of the ear that could be affected due to air pressure changes during climbs and or descents are the Eustachian tube and the tympanic membrane. We spend most of our time at ground or sea level, so the pressure outside our ear, for example 1013 hectopascal, is the same as the pressure inside our middle ear, 1013 hectopascal. If we climb rapidly in an aircraft, the pressure outside our ear decreases and the pressure inside our middle ear was 1013, which will now be higher. This higher pressure escapes via the Eustachian tube, which is wider at the end known as the nasopharynx, your mouth. Let's say we've been flying for some time at altitude, at the lower pressures aloft. Since we've been up there some time, the pressure outside our ear and the pressure inside our middle ear will have equilibrated via the eustachian tube and will be the same. If we now descend, the pressure outside our ear will increase and air will want to enter via the eustachian tube to reach the lower pressure inside the middle ear so that the pressure across the tympanic membrane or eardrum can be the same. Generally speaking, this pressure equalization system via the eustachian tube works very well in climbs and descents under normal conditions. However, if you've got a cold, for example, and the back of your throat and your stachian tube have become inflamed, it's difficult for air to enter via the eustachian tube into the middle ear during descents. This leaves a vacuum or a lower pressure inside the middle ear and an increasing pressure outside the ear this pushes the tympanic membrane eardrum inwards which can result in intense pain.